Morning. You want to see how we built these stackable and break down saw horses out of recycled wood? Stay tuned because that's what we're going to do today. Good morning and welcome to another Memphis Money, Memphis Money 244. Uh, today I think we've got a fun one. Uh, we're going to build a a set of uh, saw horses using some recycled wood we took from that old scaffolding uh, that I took apart a couple of months ago. Uh, we already used the wood that we had from the old assembly table to make those little drawers in the new assembly table. Uh, but we still have the old wood from the scaffolding uh, that we're going to uh, try to use today. Uh, I think it's going to be a pretty fun project. Uh, it's it's uh, short enough and I think useful enough and unique enough uh, that it could be fun. So let's knock off the chit chat and get to work. Here's the saw horses that uh, you normally get, you know, and they're, you know, I don't bad mouth them. They're actually, they're light. Store well, they're strong enough usually, uh, convenient, but they always, this part right in here that holds them apart, uh, it's always, it always breaks. I broke my, I broke my rule and checked the, check the internet for examples of saw horses before I built these. See if there's any design out there that I liked. And there wasn't. So I came up with my own design. This is a prototype right here. Uh, it uh, got a couple of latches on it. And they break, they break down like this. Storage. Let me show you some of the features here. This is the beam that goes across the top. It slides into a triangular notch like that. And the same thing happens on the other side. Then I have these uh, latches. Here's some of the features. The legs are 15 degrees. Uh, this is some of the recycled wood. I made the prototype. I didn't use the recycled wood on, on this except for this piece right here. It's got this triangular beam. Um, it's nailed together, which is traditionally how saw horses are made. It's got this triangular beam that keeps the thing, that keeps the beam in place. Um, and then I got this little latch that holds the leg and the beam together. Here's the wood we're going to use. Uh, I want to use this, this is the wood from the scaffolding. I really like this patina. That scaffolding was 15 years old and well used. So it's got some uh, sentimental value. And I want this, uh, I want these salt horses to really look old. The beams are four by fours cut at a 15 degree angle, uh, treated, uh, treated two before, or four befores. Uh, let's start out by showing you how I made these beams. The beams are cut at this 15 degree angle. As a matter of fact, everything is on the sawhorse is 15 degrees. This is 15 degrees. The legs are cut at 15 degrees. Um, so, 
it really uh, simplifies everything. I'm just doing a sample here. I've already cut the uh, beans for our sawhorses. I'm just uh, doing a sample here because there's a safety issue involved uh, with cutting these things. Let me go ahead and uh, show you how this works. First of all, the blade is all the way up and tilted over to 15 degrees. And which is nice on these little on the little indicator here, which you can't see. This little indicator right here has a 15 degree detail. Okay, we got our 15 degree angle over here. Now we need to put the same angle mirror image on the other side. When you cut these angles, you want the saw to tilt away from the blade. You don't want the other way around. Let me set it up the other way. To illustrate what I'm talking about, I put one of, one of our beams in the saw. And you see how that's pinched between the fence and the saw. Well, if I started that saw, there's a big chance that that piece is going to be thrown out the back, just like that. Not as likely with this heavier stock, as I say, but with wire stock, it'll be thrown out almost every time. Okay, we got our beams. Uh, I did those in advance, and now what we need to do is we need to put our legs, angle our legs down. Let's take a look at those. Part of the leg down of the legs on our prototype, uh, this is only two and a half inches. I think on our pieces we're going to build, uh, I'm going to make these legs three inches. Well, I forgot why. I forgot why I made those uh, less than three inches. I remember now. Uh, these boards are five and a half, and if if I make them three inches, that means I can only get one leg out of each one of these boards, and that won't work because I won't have enough stocks. So what I need to do is cut these at one and three or two and three quarters. Okay, we're doing the legs now. The uh, exact length is not as important as getting them all the same. So I put a stop block down here and let's cut one of them out. Now I know this thing's right. like to do a, a dummy test just to make sure I didn't do anything stupid. Okay, I'm going to make it about, you know, maybe two and a half inches taller and looks like we're good. Okay, I'll cut out the other uh, seven legs and we'll be on the road. Well, there's all our legs all cut out. Uh, now what we need to do is cut out these little blocks, there's eight of them. That's a 15 degree bevel right there. Okay, no mystery on how we're going to set this up. I put my the beam in place, put my legs up next to it, and then line my cross brace up and reach under there and mark it. Mark was only to give me the you know rough length 
but the actual angle, I'm not going to set up to that line. I'm going to use the 15 degree uh, miter cut to, uh, to cut it. See if it fits. Okay, that's about what we want. So we need a total of eight of these. Okay, to get all these uh, braces exactly the same, I've set up this angle stop lock. All the pieces exactly. Here's our setup to attach these braces. I have a wedge, 15 degree wedge, on either side since these are angled out. The clamp across here, pinching the legs against these 15 degree angles nice and tight then I'll put my brace in there and nail it. Traditionally these uh, sawhorses are made on site using uh, remnant material and nails and so that's what we're going to do. I'm using uh, three inch ring shank nails. Since we have this spacer here, I've got this spacer down there at the bottom to hold the legs up so that this thing remains parallel with the uh, deck reinsert our beam. like I did the other one. Okay, I got one of our leg assemblies finished. I'll go ahead and uh, do the other three and we'll be on a roll. Well, I know we said we were going to put these little braces on are these, these little, uh, they're called sash latches. But I think the design is much more elegant without these. Let's take a look at them. Well, this does it for Memphis Monday 244. Our breakdown saw horses. They're about uh, an inch taller than standard. No tools, no hardware, super strong. I think it's uh, quite an elegant design myself. And I think they'll, I made them out of that recycled uh, wood so they look nice and old. Well, that does it for uh, Memphis Monday 244. Today we built these 
nice little breakdown uh, saw horses. They're super strong. Now with saw horses, uh, they're used not only for cutting boards, uh, you can also make little temporary scaffolds out of them if they're strong enough, and these are certainly strong enough. There's like three different kinds. There's the collapsible, foldable uh, type. Uh, the, uh, another type are just the uh, more traditional type where they're made on the job site. The uh, legs go down at uh, 15 degrees and they're made permanently in place and they're stackable like these. And then the third type are the breakdown type where you can um, just take them apart to store them. And ours are both stackable and breakdownable. So, pretty satisfied with our project, and I can't think of anything else. Uh, don't forget that uh, safety tip. Uh, if, you, if you're cutting uh, angles, if you're cutting angles on your table saw, make sure you tilt the you tilt the blade away from the from the fence. Okay, I'm just rambling on. Uh, like and favorite and share and all the stuff you do on the internet most important what is it that's right make sure you're back here next week for another exciting memphis monday thanks for playing along